As someone who spent over a decade in the private tech sector, I know firsthand the challenges our country faces when it comes to cyber criminals. Technology has made it easier than ever for bad actors to steal their identities, distribute malware, and commit a whole host of other crimes all from behind a computer screen. Law enforcement faces tremendous challenges in tracking and stopping these criminals. The fact is that our law enforcement policies need to be updated to reflect the realities of the 21st century. But these policy changes need to be made through a process that is transparent, effective, and one that protects our civil liberties. The changes to Rule 41 of the Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure would allow the government to hack an unlimited number of Americans' computers, including innocent victims' computers, with a single warrant. This rule change was approved behind closed doors at the Department of Justice. Fundamental changes to the way we allow law enforcement to execute searches need to be made through a process that is fully transparent to the American people. We cannot give the federal government a blank check to infringe upon our civil liberties. If Congress does not act, this rule change will automatically go into effect December 1st. This bill simply delays the rule change. It's a delay which will allow Congress to consider new law enforcement tools through a process that they deserve. I urge my colleagues to join my colleagues in delaying this rule. And I want to associate my comments with early remarks made by Senator Coons and Senator Wyden. Mr. President, I yield the floor.